What's up, coders? I'm Kaylani, and I'm your host for Code Along with Black Girls Code. Have you ever wanted to start your own business? Or maybe you already have one. Fun fact about me, I love to cook. I love it so much that I started my very own business, Cooking with Chef Kaylani. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my kitchen. Well, today, I thought it'd be super fun to combine two of my favorite things, cooking and coding. We're going to use code to create a story in Scratch that follows a day in my life as a business owner. Ready to get cooking? I mean, coding. Let's go. Before we get started, make sure to like this video and subscribe so you never miss an episode. Go to scratch.mit.edu. If you already have an account, go ahead and log in. Now, I'm going to create a new project. You can do this by clicking on File, then New. Since we're creating a day in my life, I want to choose a sprite that kind of looks like me. I'm going to delete the current sprite by clicking on the trash can above the cat. Next, I'm going to click on the cat icon at the bottom right of the screen. I have a lot of options to choose from, but I don't see any that look exactly like me, so I'm going to choose one of the best options, which is Abby. Then, I'm going to do some Kehlani coding magic and create a sprite that looks like me. If you want to know how to edit and personalize your sprite, check out this video. Now that I have my own sprite, I can show you how I start my day. Let's look for a bedroom backdrop so we can add an intro to my story. Go to the bottom of the screen and click on the backdrop icon. You can select the backdrop on Scratch or upload your own. I'll go to the indoor section and select bedroom three. I want to make my character talk when I click on her. Let's have her say hello and explain how and why I started my business. Go to the events tab and select the when the sprite clicked. Then go to the looks tab and drag over three say hello for two seconds blocks. In the first block, I want to say, Hello everyone, my name's Kehlani and I love to cook and bake. The second block should say, I learned how to make healthy meals and delicious treats in my kitchen at home. And the third block will say, today I'm going to show you how I run my very own cooking business from my kitchen. Next, I want to go to the events tab and add a broadcast block to the end of my introduction. The broadcast block allows me to send messages to other sprites to start or stop an action. I'm going to add a message that says, to kitchen. Now we'll need to add another backdrop. This time we need a kitchen. Let's see what they have in the scratch backdrops. Hmm, I don't see a kitchen backdrop. So I'm going to search the internet for a cartoon kitchen backdrop and save it and upload it into Scratch. If the backdrop doesn't fit, then click on the Convert to Bitmap button below, then resize the backdrop to fit the screen. The Convert to Bitmap button allows you to change or edit your backdrops. I want to choose a couple more backdrops because I'm telling a story about a day in my life of baking business. I usually start by waking up in my room, then I go to the kitchen to bake my treats for the day. Depending on the day, after baking, I go to school, soccer practice, or update my website with my new treats. Let's go back to the backdrop icon and search for a bedroom, refrigerator, school, soccer field, and a cool backdrop to represent the internet. You can pause this video to take your time finding the backdrops for your story. I'll be here when you get back. Learning how to bake is a new part of my cooking business. I had to learn what ingredients to use, how long to cook, and what toppings to add. Today, we're gonna bake some delicious strawberry muffins. Let's code it. Drag and drop a when I receive message to the coding area, followed by a switch backdrop to next backdrop block and change the backdrop to kitchen. Then I wanna add what I'm going to say. Add three more say hello for two seconds blocks to the coding area with the following messages. Block one will say, I love cooking and baking for my friends and family and they always enjoy my treats. Block two will say, I knew adding baked goods to my business would be a great way to expand my cooking business. And finally, block three will say, first things first, 
I decided what delicious treats to bake. Today, it's strawberry muffins. Hmm, I really like number three. Add one more broadcast block with a new message that says, get ingredients. Now that we learned how to make our characters speak and transition to the different backdrops, the next thing we need to do is get the ingredients for the virtual strawberry muffins. I want to get all the ingredients from the fridge and put them on the table. Go to the sprite icon and search for the following items. Eggs, milk, water, and strawberries. Since there isn't any flour to choose from, I'm going to substitute the bread image for flour. Go to the backdrop tab and make sure that the refrigerator is selected. Now go back to the coding area. I'm going to place the items evenly across the different shelves. I'll also reduce their size so that they fit better. Now click on the egg in the sprite pane. We need to add the following blocks. When I receive get ingredients, show, and go to XY. When we start over, I want to hide the egg. Add when green flag clicked, followed by a hide block. This will hide the egg from the screen. I'm going to follow the same process for the rest of the ingredients in the refrigerator. To make it easier for myself, I can drag and drop the blocks to each ingredient. First, I'll drag the hide blocks to each ingredient, then separate the go to XY from the when I receive get ingredients block. Then drag the show blocks to each ingredient. Once all the blocks are dragged over, I'll add a new go to XY to each ingredient to match its current X and Y coordinates. Now let's add the transition from getting the ingredients, mixing, and to baking them. Add the following code. Don't forget to add new broadcast messages for each transition. When I get the ingredients, I want to switch to the refrigerator and say, what do I need? Oh, I know. Let's grab eggs, milk, water, and fresh strawberries, of course. After I grab the ingredients, I want to display them on the kitchen table. Once the ingredients are on the kitchen table, we're going to mix them together in a bowl, then throw it in the oven at 375 degrees for 15 minutes. Time to bake! While the muffins are baking in the oven, we can create our labels. To make it easier for myself, I can drag and drop the blocks to each ingredient and change the X and Y coordinates to match their current position. I want to grab the ingredients from the refrigerator and put them on the table before I mix them together. When I receive the message to mix the ingredients, I want the ingredients to glide to the table from the refrigerator. To do this, let's go to the egg. Then add a when I receive block to the coding area. Then drag the egg to where you want it to be on the table. Then add a glide one second to XY block. The glide block will have the current coordinates of the egg. You can repeat the steps for the other ingredients. I want to reset my story so I can test it along the way. When the green flag is clicked, I want to go back to my original position and then switch my backdrop to the bedroom. Now let's test it out. Now that we have all of our ingredients on the table, let's put all of our ingredients into a bowl, then mix them together before adding them to the oven. To find a bowl, click on the Sprite icon again and search for a bowl. Click on the bowl, then add a reset block. You'll need to drag out a when green flag clicked and a hide block. 
Then add a when I receive message and change the message to mix ingredients. Next, drag a show block and a go to XY block. Change the X and Y to the current coordinates in the sprite pane. After the bowl shows and the ingredients are mixed, it's time to add the mixture into the oven. Drag another when I receive block to the coating area. Drag the bowl to the oven behind it and add a glide one second to XY block underneath it. After the bowl gets to the oven, we want it to disappear, so add a hide block. Now let's add the transition from getting the ingredients, mixing, and to baking them. Add the following code. Don't forget to add new broadcast messages for each transition. Let's test it out. Looks like everything is working like I want it to. Great. Now that my muffins are baking, I'm going to show you how I make my packaging labels. I'm going to go to the backdrop icon, then to the patterns tab. I'll choose the stripe patterns. Click on the backdrop tab and make sure the stripes pattern is selected. Click on the pattern so that the lines are highlighted and then click the fill icon. The fill icon will change the background to whichever color I choose. Next, I'll go to the fill dropdown and choose my color red. Time to add the label. Click on the rectangle icon, then change the background to white. Then select the text icon and place it on top of the white icon. Type what you'd like on your label. Now let's add the transition to making labels for my packages with the following code. Creating labels for my business is pretty straightforward. I put my company's name and the treat's name on the front of each label. And I match the label's color with the treat's color. Now I'm ready to market my treats globally. Excellent! My packages are complete! In running a business, I learned that marketing is very important in generating sales. Since I'm still in school, I sell my muffins to my friends, friends of friends, and teachers. I also sell treats at my soccer games and tournaments. It's a great place to market my business because there's so many people who love treats there. Last but not least, I host cooking classes online. It's one of the best places to market to everyone in the country. For the last part of the code, let's add the three places I market my business. I'm going to choose three different backdrops, a school, soccer field, and neon tunnel representing the internet. Then three more sprites, a muffin, cake, and donut. Let's click on our main character icon and then add the following code. When I received the marketing message, I first switched the backdrop to a school scene where I market my muffins to friends and their families. Then I changed the backdrop to soccer field where I sell donuts at my soccer games. It's a good place to sell because many people enjoy tasty treats. Finally, I switched the backdrop to neon tunnel representing the internet where I reach a wider audience. This sequence allows me to seamlessly transition from one marketing strategy to another. Next, go to the muffin and add a when green flag clicked block along with a hide block. Then add a when I receive message. Change the message to muffin in the drop down menu. Repeat the same steps for the cake and the donut. Whew, that was a lot of work. But you know what? So is running a business. 
Let's see how my business story turned out. In today's episode, we utilized events blocks to initiate actions at precise times, control blocks to manage action sequences and flow, motion blocks to move sprites across the stage, we'll use sensing blocks to detect interactions and conditions, and variables to store and modify data values. To save the project, click File in the top left corner, then select Save Now. Once your project is saved, let's share it with the Scratch community. If you haven't done so already, be sure to give your project a descriptive title, then click the share button to the right of the title. Once we've saved and shared our project, let's view the project page to add the instructions, notes, and credit sections. In the instructions section, I'll add directions to tell the user how to play this interactive game. In the credit section, I want to thank anyone who helped me create this project and give credit to any sources I used. Check out the link below to view the code for today's project. Remix it and have fun making it yours. Now you can create your own story script in Scratch. It can be about your dream business or one you already started. I can't wait to see your amazing business ideas. Thanks for joining me today for another episode of Code Along. See you next time, coders.